what's the number one challenge other than energy costs? It's getting access to workers and getting people to actually work. And I strongly believe that part of the answer to this problem is being much tougher on our welfare system. I'll tell you this, right now, there are more people claiming unemployment benefit than there are job vacancies in the economy. And if there are hours to do, if there's a job going, people should have to take the job as opposed to just being able to stay on benefits. And that's the change that I want to bring. And it's good for the economy because it will ease inflation. This is not the first time Sunak has shamelessly and incomprehensibly blamed benefit claimants for high inflation and labour shortages. Longer term, how do we get inflation down? We increase the supply of things, right? That's reasonably easy for us to grasp. Where do we have inflation? We have it in our labour market, which is why we need to get much tougher on welfare. In doing this, he's jumping on the Attorney General's shameful bandwagon. Um, there are too many people in this country who are of working age, who are of good health, uh, and who are choosing to rely on benefits, on taxpayers' money, on your money, my money. Well, imagine the shock when they find out the majority of people claiming benefits are either in work or seeking work. Unemployment is not a matter of choice. Those claiming benefits, contrary to what they appear to be suggesting, are not lazy skivers. Many are going without food every day just so they can feed their kids. And please remember this, needing benefits is not a shameful thing. 40% of people on universal credit are actually in work. 56% of people in poverty are in a working family. Seven in 10 children in poverty are in a family where at least one parent works. All this says much more about those running the country than it does about those claiming benefits. Is this seriously how Sunak's going to justify policies like cutting universal credit by £1,000 a year? Is this how he explains increasing benefits by a paltry 3% with projected inflation of 15% by the start of next year? And is this seriously how he's going to explain Brexit labour shortages when even Larry the Cat knows the reason we have fruit rotting in our fields is this? The free movement of people once and for all.